It's Steamer. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. No matter who you are. Or what you need. UCI Health is here for you. And will deliver the expert care you always deserve. Because we see beyond your health. We see you. in the wake of this weekend's surprise attacks led by the terrorist group Hamas. Israel Prime Minister addressing his country and the world, vowing the country's response will change the Middle East. We have the latest developments in this continuing conflict. That's next. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. Baseball legend Steve Garvey just announced he is getting into politics, the open seat he's running for here in California, just ahead. I'm Rashawn Haylock at Philippe in Chinatown. Dodgers are down 0-2 in their best of five series against the Diamondbacks. So you're saying there's a chance. At least some fans here think so. You'll hear from them next. And you know, so you're saying there's a chance has to do with the lotto too, Rashawn. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. No one won last night's massive Powerball jackpot, but one local player is waking up a million dollars richer. We'll tell you where that ticket was sold. Morning, I'm Sam Rubin, new here at 10 o'clock. Guns N' Roses planning a concert at a big and popular local venue they haven't played for three decades. We'll talk about that and a new take on Barbie, particularly interesting one. Uh, that's coming your way as well. Oh, we're looking at some pretty good, uh, good looking weather over the next couple of days. And it's very October fall like weather where we're going to cool down just a couple of degrees over the next two or three days and then warm right back up by the weekend at the end of the weekend. Uh, once again, looking at Sky Park, Santa's Village, Lake Arrowhead, a little breezy out there already. You can see the trees starting to push around and we do have some wind advisories that are still going to continue through the afternoon. 73 coastal, uh, actually, uh, Fog advisories on top of that, too, for tomorrow morning. 76 downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley up to 82 degrees, 82 in the high desert, Inland Empire 82, and Orange County Inland at about 77 degrees. Frank and Jessica, back to you. And to our developing news from the Middle East, President Biden will soon address the U.S. response to the deadly war in the Middle East. This as the terrorist group Hamas fires more rockets at Israel. KTLA's Andy Rose Ramos live in the newsroom with the story for us. Andy Rose, good morning. Frank and Jessica, good morning to you both. As we wait for the president, it now becomes 8 p.m. at night in Israel, right at this very moment as both Hamas and Israel continue launching attacks on each other, a barrage of deadly airstrikes. It now begs the question, could this be the region's new normal as Hamas threatens to begin killing the hostages they're holding captive? Now let's bring up a map right now because we're seeing reports that this morning that Israeli troops are now gathering along the Gaza border. Military officials say they have three 300,000 reservists called up and heavily armored vehicles are headed in that direction. And developing this morning, we want to go to images coming in from the Gaza skyline, where just before nightfall, large plumes of smoke you're seeing here, they were seen in the sky this morning. We've seen rockets coming from Israel into Gaza, but we've also seen return rockets from Gaza streaking towards Israel. Many of those rockets intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome, but still those living inside Israel report having to take refuge refuge and bomb shelter one fall. See 35 years old, the father of two beautiful daughters and his wife is now pregnant with their third daughter. Um, Sagi is exactly the kind of son that every father would want to have. A leader, a friend, a loving man. He and many other such young men on the kibbutz are now missing after having tried to repulse uh, the attack by evidently hundreds of Hamas terrorists and looters. Um, many died in the process. Uh, Sagi was not found and we have heard or seen no trace of him since then. 
That death toll just keeps going up. In the past hour, the Israeli embassy in the United States reporting the death toll just rose to more than 1,000 1, Israelis killed in these attacks. And over in Gaza, their death toll rising too. According to their health ministry, 830 people have now been killed there. Thousands more injured on both sides. As Israel continues its complete siege of Gaza, the United Nations now pleading with Israel to consider the civilians living in Gaza's densely populated area. Earlier this morning, we spoke to some fleeing the violence in Israel, arriving here at LAX. We were 